Suzuki launched the Jixxer SF150 way back in 2014. Although it made a group of people happy and sold quite well, there were still people who yearned to have a much more powerful machine with the Suzuki logo. And now the wait is finally over. The Jixxer 250 is finally here after the Suzuki enthusiasts talking about it for the number of years. Let's see what it holds for us. Let's start with the design elements of the Jixxer 250. It has this quarter panel which I feel is inspired by the Busa. It also houses the full LED headlamp which only the CBR 250 has in this segment. It's truly something special. Coming upwards, we have the muscular carved tank which I feel looks very sporty. Let's come to the rear portion of the Jixxer 250. It's got the split seats which makes it look very sporty and a little bit more comfortable than the last Jixxer. The only disappointment here is the tail. Well, it does look very ugly in my opinion, but there's nothing a tail tidy cannot fix. Here's a breath of fresh air with the Jixxer 250. It's got an all new engine developed by Suzuki, putting out 26 PS of power at 9000 RPM. If you ask me, here is where this bike truly shines. The chassis of the Jixxer 250 is developed on the Jixxer 150 SF. They have really fine-tuned and found the pitch what it was lacking. It also comes with MRF radial tyres on the front and back, a 300mm disc and dual channel ABS to help you with that braking. The suspension on the bike has also been borrowed from the SF 150, but it's got 41mm forks at the front and a monoshock at the rear, running a different preload for that accuracy. The Jixxer greets you with a go sign, which means it's already waiting for you to start her up. The riding position has been improved, it's not as sporty as you would expect it to be. It's not that aggressive, but it just works fine. And it does not disappoint for a small burnout either. The Jixxer inspires a lot of confidence and is not afraid to take on any terrain. The higher preload can be felt through the corners and while you're riding on bad roads. But what I like the most about this bike is the edge of refinement it has over its predecessors. The Jixxer has traded its raw power for refinement and in this case it is not bad at all. The one area where I felt the Jixxer lack was the braking department. It could have done with much better feel. The dual channel ABS works quite well in most situations, but if you apply more pressure on the back brake than the front, you're in for trouble. Let's get to the upshifts and the downshifts of the Jixxer 250. The biggest upshift in my eyes is that there is no better package in this price range. The Arvin 5 is close but this is 100cc more and approximately 5-6 to six bhp extra and I think that goes a long way in engine refinement. The second thing, it looks killer. There is, I have to say Suzuki has killed it with this bike in the design future. In both silver and black, you cannot go wrong with either of these two colors. And a bigger plus is the diamond cut alloy wheels, which I have not seen in the segment yet. The downshifts, very minimal and very cosmetic related. The chrome on the exhaust, very tacky for such a stellar looking bike. Coming back, the tail could have been revised for better features. If I'm nitpicking here, I would also like to say the LCD cluster could have been a little more spacious as it feels like there is too much clutter while you look at it. In conclusion, I would like to say the Jixxer 250 coming in at 1,41,000 rupees X showroom is the best package to buy if you're getting into an entry-level sports bike. 
Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and tell me what you think about the jigsaw.